Hi, my name is Mark Patterson. I'm from Gun Measure 3, and today I'm going to show you how to scan an object using Capture and create that solid in SolidWorks. So, let's start. So, you're going to want to be in the GeoMagic Capture tab, and if the capture is not already connected, you're going to want to connect it. So, since ours is, we're going to go ahead and scan. Um, let's look at the exposure. Looks pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and start scanning the object. Alright, looks good, except I don't really want this piece of data right here, so I'm going to edit that. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to start selecting it and deleting it, because we don't really need it. Alright. Now that that's done, let's start building this up. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is you have to convert this point cloud into a mesh. So we're going to wrap it. And click the checkbox, and this will create our mesh. And now we can create our regions um, from that mesh. And all you have to do is just select it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the defaults that it has set for us. And I'm going to go ahead and click check. All right. Now that we have our regions, we can start making the model. So we're going to use the fit rotational button. And we're going to select this feature right here. And we're going to let that build up. And I have it set to splines because it's going to work better with the feature profile that we have. So um, over here in the options button, uh, you're, you can pick your features. So yeah, that looks like a really good sketch, uh, except for this part right here. It's a little bit too long, and we want to fix that. So we're going to click yes, and once that's been made, I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to edit the sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right here about where I think it should end. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say right about there. And I'm going to draw a line right there. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to trim up these other lines so that after that, we're going to exit the sketch. And this will update our solid. So. There's the base model of the saw. Now let's get the other features. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do another rotation. And this time I'm going to do it off that feature right there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click check because I liked the drawing. And it looks good. Yep. And I'm going to do one more. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose this last feature right there. And yep, sketch looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and hit check again. And there we go. That looks great. So at this point, I only have one feature left, and it's that cylinder on top. And so I'm actually going to turn off my my uh, my mesh data, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw that right on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to sketch, and I'm going to choose that rotation right there to sketch on. And I'm going to choose a circle. I'm just going to come in here and find the center point and create that circle. Let's say it's about 0 0.05. And go ahead and draw that. All right. Now we're going to come over to Features, and we're going to extrude that up. And let's say that this is 0.25 inches. Yep, that looks about the right distance. So we're going to go ahead and click check. And there we go. We have our feature. And that's how you create that solid in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.